This is a suitcase looking thing filled with physical bill of sales that look like this. You guys can see here, Bell Electronics Bill of Sale. This is back when I bought an iPhone XR for $300 uh, back in 2019. So let me put this down. So um, a lot of people are always asking in groups and forums and even to me directly, they're like, Chris, do I need a bill of sale? So there's certain things I recommend a bill of sale for and then uh, certain things that you don't need to. So for example, phones, iPads, computers, things like that, I definitely recommend getting a bill of sale, all right? Anything like a game console or something like that's not necessary, um, but I mean, overall, it's good to get one on pretty much anything that you purchase just to prove that you are the rightful owner of it, um, you know, if anything ever happens. So here's a couple of reasons why I recommend a bill of sale, okay? Uh, especially in the electronic space. So. Today's video is going to be basically titled, Should You Use a Bill of Sale? Number one, uh, first thing I want to go over is a bill of sale really helps with safety. Um, and the reason for that is uh, anytime before I meet up to buy a phone, a iPad, a MacBook or whatever, I always ask the person to bring a valid ID for the bill of sale. Why do I do this? Well, number one, it honestly, if they have a problem with it, then they're usually somebody that I don't want to purchase from, right? So if, you know, they're, let's say they're trying to sell me like five sealed phones and they don't want to provide a valid ID to sell to me, the likelihood of those things getting reported stolen is probably pretty high. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to put myself in that situation. So I use the bill of sale as a tactic to avoid working with people that I don't want to work with, which overall helps me stay safe, okay? The next one is uh, obviously the bill of sale of helps you avoid buying stolen items. However, if you accidentally do buy a stolen item or somebody reports an item stolen after they sell it to you, the bill of sale pretty much proves that you're, you're good as long as you did like an IMEI check beforehand and stuff like that. That's another thing to add to the bill of sale if you want to, all right? But overall, it does help you uh, negate buying stolen items in the first place because nobody's going to willingly give you their ID to sell an item. And if they do, they're not very smart, right? Uh, legitimacy. So a lot of people have told me, a lot of customers have told me that they really like the way that I do business. They're okay with doing the bill of sale. It showed that I was legitimate like the eco ATM does because you have to have an ID to sell to an eco ATM, right? So it's kind of the same business model. We're just at, you know, a, a person, not a machine. So it provides a lot of legitimacy to your business. All right. And then the last one here is follow up opportunity. So inside of resell deck, if you guys don't know, that's my software built uh, to help resellers better market their business on Facebook, Google, and um, other platforms. We actually have a digital bill of sale. So this is a physical one, right? Um, I used these for years when I was when I was buying phones, and uh, I ended up building a digital bill of sale now that uh, can do just about anything. Get their name, their phone number, their email. You can take a photo of their driver's license, um, everything, um, and it provides a level of uh, legitimacy and enough to prove anything wrong. So let me guys tell you a quick story. Uh, where a bill of sale actually helped me out a lot. So um, back when I was in Beaumont, Texas, flipping phones, um, I had bought a phone and then I got a phone call quite a few minutes later uh, when I was driving back home. And the person was like, you have my phone. And I'm like, what are you talking about? They, it was, they're like, it's a yellow iPhone XR. And I was like, okay, yeah, I just bought that, but it's fully erased and there's, it's not reported or anything. And she's like, yeah, but it's my phone. The guy that sold it to you wasn't supposed to sell it to you. I'm like, he erased it right in front of me. And so that happened and she was like, well, I need you to bring it back to me right now. I'm like, no ma'am, let's go to the police station. Um, I have the bill of sale for the guy that sold it to me. Um, we'll meet at the police station and go from there. And anyway, I went down to the police station. The person never showed up. Um, but I, uh, I gave the detective her phone number and I showed him the bill of sale and he was like, dude, you have a 
this is this is dumb. Like this is a waste of my time. He's like, like so this the bill of sale basically legitimized my entire operation, and he basically threw it out. He was like, it's your phone, dude. Do whatever you want with it. So that was one case where a bill of sale really helped me out. Um, so I recommend checking out Resell Deck. You can find a digital bill of sale there along with a way to uh, launch your ads, scale your ads, and uh, you know get organized in your business and actually start a business basically in a box within two days. So uh, hope you guys liked this video. Hopefully it was helpful and uh, it helps you guys understand the, you know, the level uh, that a bill of sale will help you out massively in the business. Another thing I wanna add, um, whenever somebody fills out the bill of sale through resale deck, it actually, triggers a follow-up as well. So it'll follow them up every 30 days asking to buy more devices from them after they fill that form out or sign it, right? So um, I'm huge on follow-up, you guys probably know that. So definitely recommend checking out Resell Deck. Uh, it'll probably work more of your business than you do. So enjoy guys, have a great day.